Next one. I don't know if you've seen this one yet. That's a gal. Okay. Yep. Okay. And the kick down at the 35-yard line is Sarah Fuller. Happy Thanksgiving. What a day. Somebody what stop a day. Over the day. No. <laughs> <laughs> and here comes Sarah Fuller onto the field. Now, last week, two weeks ago, rather, she made history as the first female to ever kick off at the Power 5 level. Nobody cares. The first to make an extra point. Wow, you're just trying so hard, man. Throughout this week, as the story has gained prominence and taken to the headlines, I know you felt a sense of responsibility to use this platform for something bigger than yourself. What message do you hope was conveyed by your involvement today? I mean, I just want to tell like all the girls out there that you can do anything you set your mind to. Like you really can. And if you have that mentality all the way through, like you can do big things. Anything's possible. You wanna go first on this one? First of all, those kicks were horrible. Oh. <laughs> Stop lying. <laughs> I know y'all could have found somebody to kick way better than her. I could kick way better than that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never really uh, did a kick out before in my life, but I know I could kick better than that. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> the world is crazy. Like, there's no way that women can compete with men. You know what I'm saying? Like, and the fact that y'all really gassing this girl up to make her feel like she doing something is is crazy. We gotta stop it. You know what I'm saying? We have to completely stop it. Men are way more superior than women. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, the kick out, man. Like, can we go back to the kick out? I just want to see you one more time. You know? she, she got it. I she doing something. That's the squeal. Hey, that's all she got. <laughs> and she can't she kick, she can't squeal. kick nothing else. You know what I'm saying? Just go out there and squeal it. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna get some good footage, just run off the field like you did, son. You know what I'm saying? She ain't do a damn thing. But just to set this agenda up, well, anything's possible. No, I'm sorry, sisters. Y'all cannot compete with me. Yeah, that's what we're dealing yeah, with. Yeah, man. Let's get uh, First <laughs> Timothy five. First Timothy five and fourteen. Cause uh, yeah, mm -hmm. we talking about America is the destroyer of women. All right, this is the destroyer of women. That's all they do is destroy women. They give them uh, what's it trophies for doing stuff that does not matter. Mm -hmm. All right, they're getting a trophy for that. She gonna have a, a trophy and a plaque and all that. Put it on a wall, on a little fireplace, all that, and think that she actually did something in her life, and she have not had no accomplishment that's actually godly. What she doing is turning into a little boy. Mm -hmm. Is what she doing. But let's see what the Bible says that God requires of these young women. Good. This is the book of First Timothy, chapter five, verse fourteen. I will therefore that the younger women marry. The younger women play football. Marry. The young women play basketball. The younger women marry. What about baseball? The younger women marry. Oh, okay. See, the thing is, y'all have a career already set up for y'all. It's called marriage. It's called serving your husband and everything. That up until the recent, in the 1900s, that job was great. Every woman was cool with that job. They didn't have no problem with it. They, they actually enjoyed it. They thought that was one of the greatest things ever that women got to do that job. I didn't have to go out and do all the craziness. They just sat at home, took care of the house, mm -hmm. and that's what they was built to do. That's what they was designed to do. And guess what? That's what God commands them to do. It says, I will for that the younger women marry. Go ahead. Bear children. Do what? Bear children. God said you're supposed to bear children. Not supposed to be out there in the club doing what you want to do. You're supposed to be holding on to a man's child. 
Take care of a man child. That's that's your job. One man. Straight up. <laughs> One man. Not all the men in the club. Go ahead. Bear children. Uh-huh. Guide the house. Do what? Guide the house. Yeah, y'all supposed to be in the house guiding the house. Go ahead. Give none occasion to the adversary to speak reproachfully. Uh-huh. For some are already turned aside after Satan. Because a lot of women out here have already turned aside to Satan. That's what's going on out here. If you are not doing the things that God said you're supposed to do, it don't matter how good it make you feel. It don't matter how many trophies they give you. They're just taking you off the walk, off that narrow path. And you going off into that path that a wide road was lead to destruction. Mm -hmm. That feels good right now in these times. That actually is something that's going to feel good and you're going to feel like you're doing something righteous mm -hmm. in these times. But how you know if you're going righteous according, according to God is by listening to his word and keeping his commandments. That's right. If we're not keeping his commandments, then we are not doing righteous according to God. Mm -hmm. We if, will here depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Exactly. That is on the way. Those words are on the way. Uh, it's already prophesied to happen. He's going to say that to people. Don't put yourself in that line. And it's going to be many in that day that think they got a relationship with God, think they doing everything right by God, and ain't doing nothing according to His will. Many. Mm. And that's His will for women. He say, I will. Just in case anybody was wondering, mm -hmm. this is the will of God for them to marry, bear children, guide the house, and stop giving people who don't believe in Satan reasons Stop giving us reasons to do videos like this. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, can we get chapter two while we on this? First Timothy two. Uh, again, eleven. Oh. Just, to, just to add on it. You know what I'm saying? This is the book of First Timothy chapter two, verse eleven. Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. If you gonna learn, you're supposed to learn in silence and be in complete obedience. <laughs> Why are you doing it? Like a child. Come. Keep going. But I suffer not a woman to teach. God says what? I suffer not a woman to teach. Women are not supposed to be teaching, especially other men. If women going to be teaching anything like Titus 2 and 3 say, they're supposed to, the older women are supposed to teach the younger women. Come. If that's not happening, women, take the low road and just humble yourself and stop trying to be a, a lord over the, your lord. Come nor to usurp authority over the man. Nor to usurp authority. No, you're not supposed to be trying to dominate the men. You're supposed to be in subjection to the men. God. But to be in silence. But to be who? In silence. Because a silent and loving woman is a gift from God. So this is why you're supposed to be in silence. And what else? But to be in silence, for Adam was first formed, then Eve, mm -hmm. and Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in the transgression. This is happening a lot today. Women are being deceived that they don't got to obey their man, that they man don't know nothing, that they smarter than their man, and they in all kind of sinny, sin, sin. All kinds. And the devil got them deceived, just like the devil deceived Eve from the beginning. Go ahead and finish that one. That last... last uh, verse. verse 15, notwithstanding, she shall be saved in childbearing. She shall be saved in what? In childbearing. Yes, bearing a child for your husband. Come. If they continue in faith if and they charity. Do. Oh, if is the kip stipulation. You got to continue in faith and charity. And holiness with sobriety. And you can't be holy without doing what God says. So That's again, right. this is your purpose, sisters. To have a man and to be the MVP, the most valuable player of That's serving right. your king. That's right. If you're not doing this, you are failing God and you are a failure of a woman. They don't want to hear that. Yeah, we're going to tell them though. We're going to tell them yeah, though. Yeah, absolutely. Because we love y'all, we're going to yeah. keep it real with y'all. Sorry, ain't nobody else kept it real with y'all, but we got right. to keep it real with you. This word I want to tell y'all when y'all failing as women. You know, everybody, every woman is perfect. Every woman's a 10. No woman can do nothing wrong. But when you open up that Bible now, it get to correcting y'all, letting y'all know y'all place, letting y'all know y'all position under a man. Yeah, under. Y'all don't like that word. Mm -mm. But 
that's where y'all at. That's the position y'all at. Y'all under your man. Y'all, yeah. y'all are his servant. You are not his equal. Right. You are his possession, his property to do with as he will, to do with whom as he will. Mm-hmm. So, ain't nothing you can do about it but submit. Anything else is sin, sister.